Let's explore how to customize windows with live wallpapers, desktop widgets, custom cursors and more to achieve clean and minimal aesthetic on Windows desktop. First, let's clean up the taskbar. So on any unwanted application you want to remove from the taskbar, just right click on it and select here on pin from taskbar, just like this. Navigate to the start menu and search for something, whatever, and then click on three dots right here. Then navigate here to the search settings. Down below you will find option called web search, which is turned on by default. Make sure that you turn it off like so. And then go here to the taskbar settings. Under the taskbar behaviors, you can change the taskbar alignment to the left if you prefer it so. Here on top, you will also find the option for the search box, which is currently selected to only search box, but you have also three of the options. I think that this third option looks the best in my opinion. Now for the start menu, you can go here, go to the settings, click on the personalization here, click on start here, and you will find here option called more pins. So what this will allow us to do is to have more applications pin on front page of the start menu, which is really, really cool. As a bonus tip, if your desktop looks like this, you can make it a whole lot cleaner by just right clicking on the desktop, then select the view here and uncheck the option called show desktop icons. Now don't panic because you also have all the files inside this desktop folder inside the file explorer. Additionally, for the task for customization, you can also download Translucent TB from the Microsoft Store. Just search for Translucent TB on the input field at the top, then click on Get to install Translucent TB. Here, I'll just click on Launch, and you can already see that we have transparent taskbar. But as an additional tip, you guys can just right click on Translucent TB and keep in mind that you will have to have this option checked open at boot. So whenever you restart or power on your computer, your taskbar will be transparent. Now for the live wallpapers, you guys can search for the lively wallpaper app on the Microsoft Store as well. However, alternatively, you can also download this app from the GitHub page. And once here down below, you'll find assets and you will download this one right here, which ends with .exe file. Basically, it's the same program as you would download from the Microsoft Store. And then once it's installed, you can just click on open on the Microsoft Store app. And here on the first page of the Lively Wallpaper app, you'll find a few of the presets, just like this one, for example. This is how this one actually looks like. However, you can also click on the three dots on some of the specific wallpapers, click on customize and for example here change the color let's say this one right here and this is how you can customize for example this exact wallpaper however you can also add your own wallpapers to the lively wallpaper app so here on top if you click on add wallpaper you can choose a file or enter web url for example from youtube or create a dynamic wallpaper to add a wallpaper to the lively wallpaper app from youtube you guys can just go to youtube and search for the live wallpaper here i have one of the exact examples. I'll just click on copy the link here. So just right click on it and click on copy. Then go to the lively wallpaper app, click on add wallpaper. And here we have an option to enter URL. So here what I'll do, I'll just paste this URL inside here, click on this. And now the lively wallpaper should get the wallpaper from the YouTube itself. And then you can click on OK here. Now if we go here to the desktop, you can also see how our live wallpaper at the moment looks looks like. And that's about it for free live wallpapers on Windows 11. Now on Windows 11, you can also customize the cursor. So if you go here to the start menu, search for mouse, click on here, change the mouse pointer display or speed, click on pointers here. And here you will see a few of the pre-installed cursors on Windows 11. For example, you can have the black one, which looks like this. And you can go, for example, Windows inverted one, which looks like this. However, you can also download and install custom third-party cursors for Windows as well. Just go to your web browser and search for cursors on DeviantArt. And I will also put this link in the 
video description below, by the way. Here you can sort them by most recent, so you will have the latest cursors on your Windows machine. And the one which I really like is this one right here, which is called Material Design Cursors. Keep in mind that you will have to have an account for DeviantArt, so you will be able to download things from it. And once you have it, you can just click on download here. But in the case of this exact cursor, you can just go here to the GitHub page and click on the link here and you'll find here this cursor pack. So to download from GitHub, you click on code here, click on download zip, click on save here and then navigate to the downloads folder or wherever you saved this zip file. Here, click on extract and click on extract just like this and then go inside this folder and here go to the resources here pick whichever option you prefer i will go with the dark one and here i will go with the regular size now inside this folder you will find another file which is called install if you right click on it you can just click on install here and then click on open and this will install your custom cursor on windows however if the installation failed you can also install it manually so just go to the start menu search for mouse click here on change the mouse pointer display or speed setting click on pointers and what you will do here you will select the first option which is called normal select here click on browse and you will navigate to your downloads folder and go here to the cursor folder which you extracted of course here i'll go to the dark and select the regular size for the cursor and here what you will do you will just select the right cursor which is the same as this one right here for normal select here i will select here pointer click on open just like this then go here to help select click on browse and now you can just search here for help click on open and then you will basically repeat the process for every single option of the cursor and once you selected every single custom cursor you can click on apply here click on save as and call it custom cursor for example click on ok and then you can click on ok and this is how the custom cursor looks like on windows and by the way if you want to know where i got this wallpaper from it's from my brand new wallpaper pack called clouds and you guys can check it out by clicking the first link in the video description your support is highly appreciated by the way now we can move on to the files alternative so if you think that the original file explorer looks kind of boring you guys can always install this app which is called files and i will also put this link in the video description by the way on this page you can just click on download here and once here you will click on classic installer because this app is paid if you install it from the microsoft store however you can click here on classic installer and you will get it completely for free but you can also always support the developer of the application so once here i'll click on .exe file click on yes on the admin prompt and here i'll check the option launch when install completes and click on install once the installation finishes and if the application doesn't start you guys can go here to all inside the start menu click on the files application and wait for it to boot up and this is how your new file explorer looks like and as a bonus trick you can also customize it by going here to the gear icon then click on the appearance and here we can change the theme of the file explorer but the most important thing is to change the backdrop material here here i think that thin acrylic looks the best so this is how your new file explorer actually looks like and now let's talk about the widgets so you can install widgets with the raymeter which is a desktop customization tool on this page which i will also put a link for it in the video description below click on download here and you will get the .exe installer then click on the exe for the rain meter click on ok and then click on next and install and with the rain meter you can pretty much install whatever widget you like the great website for the rain meter skins is called visualskins.com but keep in mind that it has a ton of ads so i highly suggest using an ad blocker but one which i really like is called monterey rain meter so once here on this website which i'll also put a link for it in the video description below i'll click on the releases here and click on dot rm skin so the file which ends with dot rm skin is usually for the rain meter itself 
itself but keep in mind that you have it up and running and you can check that by just clicking this arrow in the system tray and here you'll find the rain meter icon now here i'll click on dot rm skin click on install just like so and click on yes here and once this is done and if nothing happens you guys can just go to the system tray double left click on the icon of the rain meter go to the Mo monterey here and open settings.ini file this will open this configurator option and here what i highly suggest that you go here under the appearance change the theme to blur and here if you go to the widgets you can add pretty much whatever widget you prefer i'll add the weather for example the calendar as well and let's add the notes as well just like this and here i'll place them somewhere here you can also change the weather location just right click on the weather click on edit weather and click here to add your location i will add the london click on enter then and click on save now we can also position the widget somewhere here and also right click on them and change the size of them as well just like this and as a bonus tip I will also show you how you can customize your terminal application on Windows. So if you don't have it installed, you will have to go to Microsoft Store and search for terminal. And here you'll find this application. Just click on get here. And once you have Windows terminal installed, you can just click on open here. Then to customize it, click on this drop down arrow here and then click on settings. Now here I selected the appearance setting to be light. So the application theme. And then I also will enable right now use acrylic material in the tab row now here down below you will click for example to the defaults and then here you will find additional settings and here you'll select appearance now down below you can scroll down a bit you can see here transparency and i will put this one to let's say 20 and then enable acrylic material just like this click on save and now if you click on plus here you will see how you have transparent cmd or terminal window which is really really cool so with that said this is pretty much it for the video if you enjoyed it make sure that you smash up the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and every single program will be also linked in the video description below if you want to check out my wallpaper please click the first link in the video description and with that said have an amazing rest of your day and i will see you all around in the next one peace